Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 18th. It's about 6 a.m. I've been sitting down here just catching up on Ravelry group threads going through and looking at all of the finished objects and all of that and working on my mindfulness sweater, the test knit that I'm doing. Very pretty. I am trucking right along on the body. It's just all stuck in it at this point. And this is going to be getting a lot of work today so that I can hopefully get the body done soon. Everybody is still sleeping here. The house is quiet. The only one downstairs with me is Emmy. She's just relaxing on the back of the couch. She keeps watching birds out the back door. So it's just me and Emmy this morning awake. I am gonna work on the sweater and go make some coffee. So I just finished creating a Zoom account. I have never used Zoom before. The boys have been using it for school, but Natalie of the Nitty Natty podcast has, I think she's done a couple now, um, little Zoom meetups, and she's doing one this morning. So I thought, well, I have nothing going on this morning and it'll be fun. I'm missing other knitters, like having interaction with other knitters. <laughs> so I thought let's join in on her Zoom chat. So I just created my account. I think I have, I don't know, I still have like 40 minutes. Now I'm impatient and I wanted to start now. <laughs> so I'm gonna knit, continue knitting on this pullover. It's just gonna get a ton of work today because I'm anxious to get the body done. I still have plenty of time on the test knit. It's not until beginning of May sometime. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this and wait for the Zoom to start. to log on to the Zoom chat with Natalie. I can't decide what to work on. I've got two projects with me. Coffee, of course. Here we go. This is all for the jet that you're doing. Part of the cockpit. Hmm? This way a little. Ooh. 
Oh, it's even got numbers. So I think we have officially reached the season in Arizona where it's it's too hot to be covered up with a blanket. So I had my Cozy Memories blanket on the back of the couch and now I've moved it over to my blanket ladder. It looks beautiful there. That's where it'll be until, you know, sometimes the air conditioning is a little too chilly and you need to cover up or until the weather cools back down again. So I've got that over here. And then this right here is a shawl that my granny, my dad's mom, crocheted, a prayer shawl. I've had this for years, so I've got that there. And down here is a blanket that I crocheted. It's more of like a lap blanket. It's not a huge one. So those are what's on my blanket ladder. So I thought I would check in with you guys. We had a pretty relaxing morning. It is about almost one o'clock in the afternoon. The Zoom call was so much fun. I was kind of nervous. That's my first time ever joining anything like that, but it was a lot of fun and it's definitely something I will do again. A bird just went into our garage. The garage door is open. Yesterday a bird went in there and there was some dog food. We have a container of dog food and there were a couple pieces on the floor that had spilled out, I guess, when the dog, Eric was filling the bowls up. The bird took it and took off with it, one of the pieces. So I think he's in there looking for dog food again. Looks like the same bird. Anyways, the Zoom call was so much fun. I will definitely do those again when Natalie does them. And I think I'm gonna try to join some other ones if people put them up. Can you guys see Emmy? Sitting in there on the kitchen table, naughty kitty. She loves sitting right there though. I feel like she sits there and judges everybody that walks by because she just has that grumpy look on her face. <laughs> but the Zoom call, so my computer, when I went to get onto it, I could not hear anything. And I kept getting an error message that the audio was not working because I didn't have the latest update of something on my computer. I have had nothing but issues with this computer that I have. It's an HP. I don't know. I've had nothing but issues with it and it's only a couple of years old. So I'm currently saving to get a Mac because I'm, I'm an Apple gal. I just am. Eric's not. He does not want me to get a Mac, but that's what I'm saving to get for work. So anyways, the Zoom call was a lot of fun. Hoping to do some more of those. Now I'm just sitting on the front porch working on this sweater. There's someone out here trying to fly a kite. It is a pretty windy day, but they're not having much success so far. I don't know if it's windy enough for kite flying, but it's a gorgeous day here in Arizona. I think we're supposed to start getting into the 90s next week. I think that's what Eric said. So it's gonna start getting warmer, but that'll still be good for sitting in the shade outside. It won't be too hot. I've definitely adjusted to the temperature. <laughs> Oh, we've been back out here for a while to be able to say that in the 90s will not be that bad for sitting outside. Wyatt's been playing with Legos all morning. He's building a jet. Austin slept most of the morning away. I let him. It's Saturday and we have nothing going on. So he's 13. I think that's what teenagers do. But all right, I'm going to knit on this. I'm thoroughly enjoying just all this stockinette knitting. I am doing um, alternating skeins using the helix method, which keeps it a bit, in, I was gonna say enjoyable, but it keeps it a bit, like you have to focus a little bit, but you still just get that plain stockinette. You just have to pay attention to when you need to switch to the next skein.
checking in again. It's almost four o'clock and I'm still on the front porch. This has been the best Saturday. So relaxing. I'm still knitting on this sweater. Just hanging out, it's almost time to get dinner started, but Eric's cooking pizza, so I don't have to cook, which is amazing. I don't really enjoy cooking. I like baking, not cooking. So I will happily pour myself a glass of wine here in a little bit and watch him make pizza. I hope that you all are having an amazing weekend. You guys hear the ice cream truck? I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the ice cream truck is going by. Um, sounds like he's actually stopped outside. <laughs> um, but I just thought I would check in one last time before I end off this vlog for the day. I may record a little bit this evening. Sometimes I never know. I'm normally pretty tired in the evenings because I get up so early. So I'm definitely more of a morning person for sure. Eric's pizza was so good, as always. He cooks it in a cast iron skillet and the crust just gets so nice and crispy. It's delicious. So we had dinner and now I, it's Austin's night. If you've watched the vlogs for a while, you know that the boys pick certain things to do on family nights. So we've been doing Fridays and Saturdays. Friday is Wyatt's day, Saturday is Austin's day. Wyatt picked a movie last night not sure what Austin's gonna pick tonight. I think a movie. I think something scary because he loves scary stuff. I don't, but we'll see what he picks for the evening. But thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys again soon. Austin, how are you today? Good. What have you done today? Played video games and ate food. Well, that's something. Mm -hmm. No basketball? No. How come? I hurt my foot. Still bothering you? Mm-hmm. Are we going to get you healed up? So it's your night to pick family night. What are we doing? Watching a movie. What are we watching? Scary stories to tell in the dark. Why? Austin always wants to watch scary stuff. I told you guys. It's his night to pick and he's going to want to watch something scary. I don't like scary stuff. I'll probably have nightmares. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Did anyone else used to read those books? I did. And then I would have nightmares. <laughs>